Put it out the coop in the lot. Water for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. Just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to modify a Nordic hamstring curl. If you didn't know, Nordic curls are literally one of the greatest hamstring exercises you can do because they're gonna stretch and strengthen the hamstrings at the same time. And research has shown that doing these even just once per week will greatly decrease your risk of hamstring injuries. So one way that you can regress it is, see I have this band. I attach this band at an angle that's higher than me. I'm using two bands. You're gonna to need to adjust the band based on your level, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place this on my body, just under my armpits, pretty much at my chest level. And then the best way to do Nordic curls if you're alone is to load it up with the barbell. So I have the barbell right here. As you can see, I've got some weights in front of it. I wanna make sure it's heavy enough so it's gonna support me. I've got a pad that I'm gonna put my knees on. And then I have this black pad on the barbell so it doesn't just dig right into my calves. So I'm gonna get onto it. Low key, it's a little awkward, it's gonna feel weird, but it's totally worth the benefit of the exercise. All right, so now that I'm all suited up, like I said, I have this right here at my chest level. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come down and the band is going to assist me all the way down. I'm just gonna go to the level of this block. Now using my hamstrings, I'm gonna pull right back up. You can see that I have a little, a slight flexion in my hips. That's gonna make this more mechanic, mechanically advantageous than if I'm just straight. I'm coming down again, pulling up. So you wanna be able to do this at a level that you're able to. So if you find that it's way too easy at this height, simply just remove one of the blocks and then you can go ahead and go down again. To really get good at these, you're gonna to have to do this very consistently. I wouldn't recommend doing it more than once a week, but it's gonna take a couple months to be able to do this without any assistance in order to go all the way down and all the way up. As you can see for me, that's still a little easy. So I'm just gonna continue removing. Still pretty easy. So I'm gonna go all the way down to the floor. And keep in mind, you might be at a certain level for many, many weeks. But as time goes by, you just wanna continuously do this until you're able to perform it by going all the way to the floor. Once you get all the way to the floor with a certain resistance, you're just gonna lower that resistance. And eventually, as many months go by, you do your resistance, you do some partial range, you should be able to go fully there and back with no resistance from the floor, just like such. Woo! Yo, it hurts, but it's worth it. Try those out, guys. Nice. Good. I know you can go chest to the floor, bro. Yes. There we go. <laughs> yes. Bro, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So I'm saying, bro, trying to see you on that national team, bro. Whoa, okay, okay, Philip. Let's go, brother, let's go. I got you, dog. <laughs> Let's go, Philip. Let's go. Nice. Bro, I think you got the floor, bro. I think. <laughs> sí, muy bien. Muy bien, papi. 
Muy, muy bien. How you feel, bro? Feeling uh, pretty tired, but these are great, like Tony Ferris says, if you want to prevent those hamstring injuries, Nordic curls are one of the best exercises to do. And, you know, just take practice. Like, do it once a week, like Brother Ferris says. The more consistent you are with it, the better you're going to get. And that's with anything. My box jump's getting better because I'm doing it at least once or twice a week. So stay consistent with it. And consistency compounds. So the more you do it, the better you're going to see. And it's going to, you might, you know, find some speed bumps along the way, but just keep on pushing and you're going to get past those speed bumps. So let's get it. Uh, so this next exercise right here, this is called the hip hover. All right, so I'm just going to sit and I want to make sure I'm nice and tall. I don't want to hunch over like this. Sit up tall. I'm bracing my core. I'm going to have my hands to my side and I'm going to flex ah, so hard, creating full tension through my upper body. And then what I'm going to do is without turning my toes to the side like this, I want to keep my toes facing up. I'm going to lift my foot above this cone and then back. This is going to give you a crazy burn through the entire body, trying to keep that tension. And again, I don't want to flex over like this upper body. I want to stay nice and tight and go for it. Whew. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> yeah, but tense like crazy, bro. Yeah, full upper body tension. The goal is 10 per side. So for this next exercise, we're going to be on this nice machine right here. And we're going to be doing an adductor raise, okay? I'm not sure if you've done this before on this machine, but that's why I'm here. I'm gonna tell you how to use it for your adductors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your, your inside leg right up against this pad right there. This is gonna be, you know, kind of that, that point of support. And then you're gonna be facing directly to one side. Your hip is gonna be resting just on this pad. Your top leg is gonna be above this pad right over there, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come down and then I'm going to engage the inside of my groin, so the adductor muscles, to come right back up. I wanna come down nice and slow and then engage back up. So the entire time as I'm holding this position, everything is working in the adductor muscle group. Everything has to work to keep me up, stable. And the further I go, then obviously the more it's going to, the more I'm going to work. Once you get good at body weight, then you can even hold a little weight and do it. And that's gonna make it a lot more challenging. This is a great way to protect and prevent from any groin injuries and to just get stronger adductors, which are going to help your overall performance. Because you naturally have strong adductors, you could probably even use a light dumbbell. So try 30 if you want. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and what you can do, your bottom leg, yeah. I don't know how you feel like that, but I like to put mine all the way up against. What up guys, so this next exercise is called the 90-90 hip thrust. This is great because it's actually going to improve our hip internal and external mobility. On top of that, it's going to help strengthen the glutes from the glute medius and the glute maximus, as well as just give you a nice stretch overall, okay? So I'm gonna get into this position on the floor where I have about, you know, a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle there. I'm gonna grab a light weight and it's gonna actually help me to counterbalance myself. So. I want to start with the weight pressed out, and then from here, I'm going to thrust up as I bring the weight towards my body, and then as I come back down, I'm going to press the weight out to help my body counterbalance, and as soon as my butt touches the floor again, I'm coming right back up. This is great for all athletes, as hip mobility can help you perform better. I'm going to go for about 10 per side. 
Just do a couple sets. The, the way you're doing it makes it a little harder because you're not counterbalancing, but that's also fine. Uh, that's just a level above. So here? Like, like you, it's in when you're up and it's out when you're down. Uh, it's out when I'm down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just to help counterbalance. Yeah, that's easy. Uh, so what we have now is a side bridge thrust, okay? So this is great to strengthen up the glute med, your core, and you're going to isometrically strengthen your entire hip stabilizers of your top leg. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come on down to the floor. I want to make sure that my elbow is beneath my shoulder. I'm going to start with both of my knees bent and my feet are going to be in a straight line with my back. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten out my top leg and I'm going to slightly lift it up. This is going to be my start position and just holding this hip up, this entire leg up, is going to work the entire hip stabilizing muscles. From there, I'm going to thrust up and then squeeze out. So now my obliques, my core, and everything is engaged to keep my body nice and in line. From there, I'm going to actually come back and down. So it's one, two, one, two. This 10 sets of this is going to really, really burn, but it's so crucial and beneficial. You can even do this as a warm up for some more, before some more advanced movement. Let me know. Or even on its own. Yeah. Try these out, guys. Push, thrust. Yes. Oh, you want to see her on Two seconds and what about it? I haven't taken off. What the hell? Thrust. Up. Thrust. <laughs> Up and thrust, baby. Yes. There you go. You can I'll lift your right leg a little higher. I'll be doing this tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, my foot's on fire. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Some weighted planks. These are great because it literally forces you to be strong and to tense up for the entire body. I don't feel nothing. When it comes to a plank, it's all mindset, baby. I could sit in this all day. I can go to sleep. Damn, finish. I did my, I did my 60 seconds, I promise. I'm not like. But in all honesty, you gotta teach your body how to create full body tension. Because you know you can do this. It's mindset. You gotta be mentally stronger than you physically are. That's how you improve. That's how you get better. That's how you push your limits and become the best version of yourself. Woo! I don't even got no timer. We in this all day, baby. Hey, easy work. <laughs> You're going marathon mode, bro. You got another set, right? Come on. I <laughs> Say that core. Oh, no. Of course. We're chilling. We're just going to get better. Woo! You're almost there. You're almost there. I'm almost there. Hang in there, bro. Four, three, two, one. Take the shit off you. You want me to take it off when it's at two seconds, bro. Like, like finish it off. No, 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 no. You did that earlier too, bro. Don't piss me off, bro. I'm not trying to hurt you, bro. This guy thinks I have like some sort of host. Like, bro, I'm not. Come on. Let's get these three plates, baby. Hey, let's go. Y'all ready for this? Yes, sir. I'm about to have three plates on his back. After surgery. Easy work. Let's go. Easy work. Easy work. Are you recording it? Oh, okay. Now we're ready. Okay? Got 30 seconds. Let's go, brothers. Easy work, man. Easy work. Ah. 
Come on, let's dust it. Right, so play stay up, bro. So stay up. Move play lower. So got move on lower, please. Lower. There we go. Yeah. Stay up, stay up, stay up. 15 okay. seconds, bro. 15 seconds. This is 15 seconds to fame, baby. <laughs> stay up, man. If I have the soup, it's gonna drop. Stay up, stay up. Bring the hips up, hips up, hips up. Hips up more, bro. Hips up more. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let's go. Stop recording, just press the... <laughs> we gotta get the after. After what? After shots, the after shots. These are crucial, look at this. Oh shit, never again. Yo, my never. bad. Hey, you made it look easy. Literally made it look easy. I'm big in your turn. You put your mind to it, right? <laughs> yeah. There's no way. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I don't care. Mess it up, mess it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna try. Then that's it. Yo, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Should I add the other 18? No, shit. Alright. Now try to get it all in one motion. Jump. Not bad. Switch sides. Last two. Let's go, Big D. Good job, Big D. Good. Right when both your feet jump, right? Explode. Good. One more. Great job, Doc. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> you do, you're this close though. Close you're really close. <laughs> Next week you'll get it. For sure, no, for sure. You'll be clearing it out. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, it's done. Don't worry, I'm going to get some work out with Brother Ferris, bro. I promise you I'm going to be there like, up there with him. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure.
coming from Brother Ferris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still scared, nothing. Burning. I do it one time. Oh my. Two, two more. That was good, baby. Don't worry, bro. I got it. I got it. I, got it. I missed jump. <laughs> I'm a big dog, bitch. I pull up on the